Hello everybody, my name is Nisim Lopez, I am a Cuban American artist based in Miami, Florida and I also happen to be a targeted individual, a victim of a secret, illegal, long-term, unconstitutional surveillance program known as Organized Stockman. Today I'm here to speak about the psychiatric aspect of gang stalking. But before I do that, you know, I have to go ahead and inform the general public because for the most part, the American people are not familiar with the terminology, organized stalking, gang stalking, covert harassment, etc. What is gang stalking? What is a targeted individual? Well, to make a long story short, Gang stalking is pretty much uh, a secret program of the U.S. government that is designed to destroy a targeted individual emotionally and psychologically. Gang stalking is basically a form of political repression, you know, extrajudicial punishment, if you will. In order to harass, agitate, torment, preoccupy, and ultimately terrorize the isolated victim 24-7 everywhere he goes, these people in federal law enforcement, meaning Holland Security Police, FBI, etc., they recruit civilians of all types of social status that will harass the target everywhere he goes uh, 24-7 in public. Most of these people that are recruited are brainwashed into believing that the target is a bad person, meaning an anti-government radical, uh, uh, a communist, uh, you know, a sex offender, a serial killer, you know. Basically, they are brainwashed into believing that the targeted individual is a bad person, you know, a person that has to be taken out. Most of these people that are recruiting by federal law enforcement, meaning the, the perps, the perpetrators, who are also known as citizens of, on patrol or sur surveillance role players or surveillance team members, these people that are recruited to harass the target, most of them are bottom feeders. What do I mean by that? Most of these people are people that come from a vulnerable, vulnerable uh, background, people who are in government assistance people who are like drug addicts, some of them ex-convicts, etc. criminals. These are the people that they recruit in order to harass the target. Now, um, so basically uh, they use character assassination in order to, to destroy the target. You know, they fabricate a profile and make people believe that the target is a, you know, a bad person that has to be taken out. Now, after, after years of unjust systematic abuse, the target breaks down mentally, you know. And keep in mind, you know, after being unjustly harassed for years, you know, that stress accumulates and it does affect the targeted individual uh, physically as well. So after years of unjust methodical abuse, the targeted individual breaks down and ends up in a psychiatric institution, isolated, discredited, with no support system, no longer credible. So now this is part of the program. These people that harass the targeted individual, you know, I'm talking about I'm talking about the gang stalking syndicate, the, 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 the feds. They know that the target is only human and that eventually he's gonna end up institutionalized. This is part of the defamation campaign. This is part of the character assassination program.
<clears throat> and uh, what's important that people understand when it comes to the psychiatric aspect of the secret program of the U.S. government is that these people in psychiatry, meaning the doctors, the psychiatrists, the psychologists, you know, these people are in bed with federal law enforcement. You know, when a targeted individual ends up in a psychiatric institution in a hospital, you know, the feds are going to interact with these doctors and they're going to tell them, yeah, this, this patient uh, that you have, his name is Nisin Lopez or whatever, he's a targeted individual, he's under investigation, and blah, 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 blah. So the doctor, you know, that will talk to you, mean to a targeted individual, he's not going to admit that you are a victim of, of gang stalking. He will never, he will never legitimize this secret program of the U.S. government. So they're going to say that you're a delusional, paranoid, schizophrenic, and they're going to put you on medication. And again, this is part of the program. They're going to give you, you know, I'm talking, I'm, I'm basically trying to give advice to, to targeted individuals who are looking for information. That's why I'm making this video pretty much. So if you're a targeted individual, they're going to put you on, on medications that have heavy side effects. I'll give you a practical example. You know, they'll give you medications that are like Risperidal. Risperidal is a psychiatric drug that has heavy side effects. Uh, basically, it can it can affect you uh, physiologically. What I mean by that is that a man that takes Risperidone, you know, for a long time, for years, I guess, you know, this drug has the capability of feminizing the individual in the long run. You know, it fucks with your hormones and shit. So this is a form of chemical castration as far as I understand, but the doctor, the psychiatrist who, who is in bed with federal law enforcement that's going to give you that drug, he's not going to tell you that. He's just going to give it to you. Oh, no, here, this medication, Risperidol, this is good for you. Take it, you know. You're not supposed to question your environment according to them, I guess. They might also give you, for example, another medication called Traxodon. Traxodon. You know, they're gonna tell you, oh yeah, no, yeah, you're a, you're a schizophrenic. Take this. You know. Now, do your research. Traxodon is a psychiatric drug that has heavy side effects. For example, if you take this drug, you know, you're a targeted individual. You end up in psychiatric institution and you take Traxodon. Traxodon. You know. This is a drug that can give you really, really, really ugly nightmares. I'm talking about really nasty, uh, despicable, ugly, psychotic stuff, you know, like unbearable, ugly nightmares. And uh, this is a drug also that can make you suicidal, you know. So, but, the, but it's funny how you, you a targeted individual, you end up institutionalized and they tell you, oh, you know, just go ahead and take this drug, you know, like it's not a big deal, you know. They might give you, for example, another drug that is called uh, Seroquel. Uh, now, what they're not going to tell you is that if you take Seroquel on a regular basis for years, I mean, basically you become a drug addict. What do I mean by that? If you stop taking Seroquel, your system will literally collapse, meaning you will collapse. You will start vomiting. You will have headaches. You're not going to be able to sleep, you know. So, you know, all these drugs that are given to you, once you, 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 a targeted individual, end up in psychiatry, these are drugs that have serious, and I mean serious, side effects, you know?
also very important think about it why all these feds you know who are behind the gang stalking program they know that after gang stalking you for years you're gonna end up in a psychiatric institution you know when you end up in a hospital surrounded by all these crazy people you know a psychiatric institution these people that uh, that are around you you know the scenario that you're exposed to these are crazy people like people that look decrepit grotesque drug addicts some of them criminals you know what I mean that is a really horrible environment as far as I understand you know but they want to expose you to this type of environment because they want to basically kill you they're trying to kill you psychologically and emotionally this the gang stalking program is a slow kill program you know they are trying to destroy every aspect of your life they will do everything they can in order to to destroy you slow motion you know so this whole thing in the gang stalking program of basically forcing a targeted individual into psychiatry you know that is part of the character assassination program they don't want you to be credible you know they want to discredit you they want to make you look like you don't know what the hell you're talking about like it like you're delusional oh gun stalking is not really happening it's in his mind he's delusional and all that shit uh, you are under sur surveillance 24 7 you're being watched everywhere you go and you have hidden cameras in your house believe it or not so these people have uh, a form of psychological torture that uh, some people know it as directed energy weapons in other words these people in federal law enforcement they have access to a secret classified technology that basically uh, that they can influence you psychologically by the use of this secret technology i, I will explain in a second uh, this is a you know this is a, a technology that is based on your DNA you know what I mean once they collect your DNA and uh, they fine-tune your DNA to their technology you know basically they have your DNA in a digital format they they are able to affect you through this technology you know they can insert implant thoughts uh, impulses phrases words dream videos etc into your psyche the idea is to make you believe that those are your real thoughts when they are not you know this is basically remote neural influencing trauma based mind control they can also use this secret, secret technology in order to inflict pain upon you you know to to deprive you of sleep for example to uh, to cause headaches to microwave your internal organs to cause molestation effects on your genital area etc this is a very nasty secret technology that these people have the people that do this to targeted individuals you know they work in a fusion center they're basically sitting in front of a computer you know uh, messing with you pretty much Thank you very much for your time.